Rob from Axel's Garage. Today it's a dual purpose video. Two videos for the video of one. How's that turn out? So what we have today is we have the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver that we're going to review our first use on and we have to replace the battery in our GMC Yukon XL pretty much Suburban. That's a 2003 GMC Yukon XL. I don't know what the deal is with batteries in the last 10 or 15 years but vehicle batteries just don't seem to last at all anymore you used to buy a, a five year or a four year or a six year battery and you almost got the whole four or five or six years out of the battery some batteries lasted me longer than what the advertised warranty was and then all of a sudden it started dropping off we used to buy all our batteries from Sears and get diehards then the diehards started to drop off and pretty much we were just going to AutoZone or Advanced Auto and getting a battery. Every once in a while we'd try to say, you know what, let's just go for the for the bucks and get an interstate battery and see if that works any better. Nothing anyway, seems to work. We got a three-year-old battery. I think it's it's one of the it's a gold series from Advanced Auto, uh, whatever they call their their battery, and we'll we'll take a look at it in a little bit. But in the meantime, you're watching me on my regular six or eight-year-old. JVC video camera. It's an HD camera, nothing fancy. It's got really no options other than 1080p video. It's a real basic old camera and it seems to be working pretty good. The video is pretty good. This is our normal garage lighting. Maybe a little brighter if I have all the lights on, but not much. So this is the way I usually look on screen. Now, we got this Hero 3 Plus Silver that we haven't used yet and I did an unboxing on it and we, we put the, the Hero camera inside its waterproof case and then we mounted it on the uh, the suction cup doodad here. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to set this up right next to the video camera and I'm going to switch back and forth a little bit and we'll see if there's um, a difference in video quality. I think the the angle, the, the, the it's going to be a wider angle on the GoPro. Uh, so you'll see more of the garage around me. Hey, uh, you'll see more of me around me. Um, but the thing that concerns me about the GoPro now, I know a lot of people use the GoPros. I personally borrowed one once and used it on a quad. But my, my concern, my big concern, is going to be the sound quality inside this waterproof case. Now they do have another case that comes with it. It's another back, I should say, that has an open back so that you can access the stuff in the back of the camera, or if you had one with a screen or some kind of dicky or an attachment, something I don't know, but it's an open back. That one might give better sound quality, but we're going to try this one out just the way it is so we can give you, a, a, a try to give you a decent real life review on how it compares to my cheapo video camera that you watch me on now. So let me set this up and then we'll go back and forth. All right, well I set the GoPro camera up and with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus you have to run an app on your phone and the app gives you a a, um, a screen to see what the camera's seeing and I can see what the camera's seeing now. Now the the GoPro camera itself is, is mounted about an inch or two below the video camera so the angle is going to be pretty close but what I'm noticing on the screen here is that I got a lot of a, a, a lot more a lot more of me showing with the GoPro. It's, it's a much wider angle, top to bottom, um, a real, I think they call it a field of view, uh, a wider field of view. Um, and then you, you, you can control everything here. It gives you your battery status, it gives you all your shit. Um, you could change it to take pictures, you could change your, your video quality, you could do everything you could do from your phone. It hooks up Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth. Uh, I, I don't understand why Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, but it's Wi-Fi connection to the Hero 3 Plus camera. All right. So right now we're on the regular video camera and I just hit the record button on my phone and that starts the recording on this camera here. Did it start recording? Oh, I'm, I'm on picture mode. Never mind. All right. Now I'm on video mode and now I should hit record. Okay. Oh, and it's showing me it's flashing that it's recording and it's giving me a a little uh, counter on the thing. What I do notice is there is a little bit of lag to the phone, which is fine because really what you're doing is you're 
you're going, you're using the phone to set your shot up. You're not you're looking at the shot for a, a live view. So right now we're on the video camera, and now, by the magic of editing, woo! Now we're on the GoPro camera. See, the GoPro camera, as you can see, it's giving me a lot more. You can see all of me, pretty much. And I'm real close. I'm about four or five feet from both cameras. Like I said, the GoPro is just a little bit mounted a little lower than the other one, and it's a much wider field of view also. Um, pretty neat. Now, the big thing is how, is, how does it sound? So, here's what I sound like on the GoPro. Now, here's what I sound like on the regular one. So, you tell me, is it is the video, is the video quality good? Is the audio quality... Okay, it's, it's Rob from the future. That sucked. What you just heard was what I was talking about with horrible uh, audio quality. While I was editing the video from the GoPro and from the video camera, I was trying to put everything together and, and I had the volume down low so I didn't disturb anybody. And then I said, you know what? My biggest concern about the GoPro was audio quality. And I, I knew that going into it because you see a lot of people that shoot with, with GoPro cameras and the video quality is excellent. So my concern was audio quality and I wasn't really listening to it. So when I turned the volume up on my editing software, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I can't even hear myself when I'm on the GoPro. So I did a little Googling and found out that what I was using, where's my case? I was using the standard uh, waterproof case. It's got a full back on it. It's got an O-ring seal around it. Um, and it's a, it's a real good case. And that's the waterproof case. And I always wondered how the sound is going to get into the case to record the sound. And apparently it doesn't really get in good at all. Because you can barely hear me. You can make me out. Turn your volume up. You can make me out. And when I continue the video, I'll go back and forth. I won't spend too much time on the GoPro because you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, I'll give you a couple shots of the, the GoPro video, though, so you can judge your video quality. So when I did a little Googling, they said, you know, you can shoot with the GoPro camera just sitting on something naked, in a way, and the audio will be pretty good. And we're going to try that. The, the downfall to the naked camera is that you have no way to mount it because it's just a little square box. I'll show it to you. All right, here's the naked camera. It's just a little a little square box. There's no way to mount it. Now, if you take this and you put it in the case, it's got the plastic on the bottom and it's got great mounting features, but you close it up and you got nothing. So what do they give you? They give you what they call a skeleton back, and I didn't know it was called a skeleton back. But it's called a skeleton back, and I just must have pressed the button here because I lost my my GoPro view, but they give you a skeleton back. And what that is, it's a back to the case. It's a back to the case that's that's open. And that lets the sound come through and I believe that this locked up in the case is going to give you pre pretty decent audio. So what we'll do is we're going to test all three ways and then we'll go back to the, my, the rest of my video changing the battery and using the GoPro back and forth so you can judge video quality. So we'll do our audio test here. Like I said, we're in the garage like we were before the other day, yesterday actually. We're in the garage, same conditions, same stuff in the garage, so the audio should be pretty much the same. Okay, I'm standing at about the same spot I was on the video camera, about the same distance away. The GoPro camera is now just sitting on one of my workbenches. It's about six inches below the video camera, and you could see same great field of view, real wide. This is on the wide setting, by the way, and I could change it to uh, to the medium and narrow setting just to give you a little example. It you know it does distort it a little bit. Um, I, I don't know which one I'm going to like better. I, I do like that I can get a little bit close to my work and, and still get a thing. But how's the sound? What do you think? Um, I don't know because I can't hear it until I do the editing, but. This is what it sounds like. And what I'll do is, just for a, a point of reference, I'll take my phone here and I can change those settings. Can I do it while I'm recording? I can't do it while I'm recording. Stand by. Okay, now we're in medium. So this is the medium field of view. You can see it just got a little bit tighter up and down. Um, medium actually might be the best. 
because it still gives you a nice wide point of view but um, the up and down it doesn't waste and get all that ceiling up there like it was okay and now we have narrow and narrow from the the display on my phone where I could see the GoPro and the display up on my video camera narrow looks to be about the same it's a little wider than my video camera but up and down it's just a little bit wider also so even at narrow it's got a better field of view than my video camera normally does so I, I think if I shoot in the middle it would probably be the best instead of the wide just shooting the medium in the middle and that was medium and I'll go back to that now all right so here I am at medium gives me a, a little bit of a, a wider field of view than the video camera did but not a tremendous amount and I don't waste a lot above and below where I don't need it. I think, and it doesn't look as distorted as the Y does. The Y does have some distortion to it. We could see some of the walls look a little curved. Um, so this one is probably going to be the best one to use for the purposes that I shoot with. If I got to do something wide, I can always change it to wide. So this is the sound quality uh, for the GoPro camera naked. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mount it up into the case the skeleton case they call it that's the open back and see if my sound quality is either almost as good or comparable or good enough to use to shoot videos and be able to have people hear me all right so i got the the camera the gopro camera mounted up in the case on the uh the suction cup stand and in the back here this is the only section that's open you know there's a rubber o ring around the around the outside of this case and then there's another rubber gasket on the inside and the only place that's open is this back right here the back of the GoPro camera and right up here there's a little spot that's open to the top of the camera I don't know if that's where the sound comes in but just for a, a comparison to the video camera I'll switch back to the GoPro okay so here we are we got the GoPro in the case you know in the, in the, uh, the plastic protecting case with the open back and hopefully the sound sounds pretty good. I don't know. It seems like it might not be because the camera is very covered. It is very protected. The only thing open is a small section in the back. Okay, we're back on the video camera. We got the GoPro off for now. Um, I'm going to continue along with the video. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll chop it up real good so you don't get a lot of lack of audio GoPro because I did have it in that completely waterproof and weatherproof case and we'll see what happens enjoy the rest of the video if you like it please give me a thumbs up and don't Double forget to subscribe. so what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and it's real windy outside we're going to pull the battery out of the the, the gmc because we've got to take it over to advanced auto and see if those dum-dums will prorate the warranty it, it's the battery is three years old so it was i i got it in march of 2013 it's now december of 2016 so it's about three and a half years old it was a uh, a five year um, battery, so three and a half, five, uh, three and a half, four and a half. So I should have a year and a half left. That's 12, that's 18 months, 18 months of credit towards the new battery. I'm sure they're going to hit me over the head for the new battery, whatever it might be. But we'll see how the, the camera looks in the, in the outside light. Uh, we'll see how the audio looks. Again. And we'll see what kind of wind resistance it has. Remember, the GoPro right now is mounted in the in the waterproof case, not the open back case. So this will probably be the worst audio we'll get. Uh, let's let's see. Okay. Now we're on the regular video camera. We're outside. It's windy. One thing I have noticed, just setting the shot up so far, and you can see the GoPro right here, is that my my field of view with the regular video camera isn't the greatest. Um, sometimes I have to crouch like I am now. I can't stand straight up because then the video camera will be too far away. So sometimes I got to crouch to get in here and get a good shot, but the video is always clear. Now on the GoPro, which you can see is all the way up here kind of close, and looking on my monitor, I I'm pretty much in frame, even if I stand like this. That's on the GoPro, but I don't know how it sounds. I don't know how it, it's going to be in the wind or anything like that. So we'll go back to the camera.
battery and the Autocraft Gold battery is from Advance Auto, not AutoZone. So I'm going to have to go back to AutoZone with no receipt. I bought the battery when I was traveling in Midlothian, Virginia outside of Richmond. So we'll see what the AutoZone people have to say. I'm going to take my son's K5 because I blocked myself in on purpose because I get to take his K5 and I've been wanting to take it for a trip here or there just so that I could get a feel for it, see if I feel anything going on with it. He's only been driving it uh, a week now. Well, it's less than a week, six days. But I want to be driving every now and then just so that I could get a feel for it if it needs some, some work or if there's something going on that he might not. All right, so we're driving now. We got the GoPro. It's daylight. It's cloudy, but not like dark, gloomy cloudy, just cloudy. Cloudy and cold. But uh, it's about average light out for daytime. Well, I got the, we're on the regular video camera now. I got my son, Steve-O, he's filming. And what he just realized going from the GoPro to the video camera he just goes, holy cow, it's so zoomed in. And the video camera is not zoomed in at all. So it's, it's real tough with these older video cameras to, to shoot when you're close because you are so zoomed in when you're not even applying any zoom whatsoever, just at its regular point. Okay, now I'm on the GoPro, and you guys tell me. I guess when I, when I play it back as I'm editing, I'll, I'll see what the sound quality is like. But right now we're on the GoPro. Hopefully the sound quality is good. The proof will be in the pudding, as they say. But we'll, we'll see what happens.